New at 6 tonight, a deadly ATV accident leaves the town of Cedarville in mourning. 13-year-old Jacob Wallace died on Sunday just two days before his middle school returned to class after fall break. 5 News reporter Ian Taylor shares the legacy Wallace leaves behind. As the cool autumn wind blows outside, the hallways of Cedarville Middle School are warm but somber as students return to class Tuesday missing one of their own. It's a tremendous loss for our community, and getting that phone call is one that you never want to hear. A four-wheeler crash on Sunday evening took the life of a beloved student and friend. Jacob Wallace turned 13 just a little more than two weeks before the accident. His family and principal say his personality was larger than life. Jacob was a sweet boy, and he was funny, and he liked to joke and laugh. He was well-liked, loved. And a lot of people said it, but he has a very contagious smile. He just loved to smile, and his smile was just so sweet. He played on the junior high basketball and football teams. Coach Max Washhausen brought the football team together Tuesday to talk about the loss. As they mourn, they plan to honor the memory of number 55. If there's a, someone that's passed, uh, I always try to, you know, find something special about that person and, and try to personally carry that on. The team is doing just that with helmet decals of Jacob's number. The Wallace family will bury Jacob in his football jersey, a testament to just how much he loved the game. He would have loved that, uh, definitely. His uncle, Robert McDonner, says the family is still processing the loss, saying nothing could ever have prepared them for a life so full to be cut short. I'd give anything, anything to change it, but you can't. You know, you just gotta, you gotta learn to move on somehow. Um, I wish I could have protected him. Cedarville Middle School provided counselors to all students and staff Tuesday, now pouring support, helping Jacob's family through their grief. They've helped tremendously, um, and words can express how, how thankful we are for the community that's really supported us during this time. In Cedarville, covering news where you live, Ian Taylor, 5 News. All of Cedarville's junior high football games have been postponed until further notice. Jacob's funeral, by the way, will be held Thursday at the Bethlehem Free Will Baptist Church in Van Buren starting at 2 o'clock. A GoFundMe has been set up to help the family, and a link to that can be found on our website at 5newsonline.com.